Hi, I'm Claire and this is my husband Nick. We met in an online chat room in 2001 and ended up getting married in 2006. We're a fairly normal, hard-working couple. We love travelling and enjoying a drink or two. In early 2020, we decided we wanted a whole new life change and challenge. So we said goodbye to our jobs. We sold our Wiltshire farmhouse. We packed up our things and made the move to France. In early 2001, I went back to the UK to finalise our house sale and pick up my Arga. I was on Facebook on an Escape to the Chateau fan club page when I saw this advert. I messaged Nick the advert. Curiosity got the better of him and he went and arranged a viewing. With the instructions from me, just your judgment if you think i like it put in an offer the offer was accepted and we finally got the keys on the 10th of june 2021 join us and our dogs Merlo and flora as we renovate our mason demetra and they're off into the wild blue yonder <laughs> heading towards britney ferries Carn route Challenge out of the way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, should we go shopping? Yeah. We'll just uh, say goodbye to my parents and come into Cognac to a Brico shop to buy some paint. We, after having a lot of really nice dinners over the last couple of weeks. things out at Burger King. Well, today is a sad day. It's the end of Christmas and the decorations are coming down. Glad to see the man in the cherry picker is wearing a mask. Oh, a third man arrives. It's quite a major operation. There we have it. Santa's helpers. Well, they're not finished for the year because they've still got to take all the presents down from that tree. Or maybe that's a different team that comes around to do that. I'm not sure. But for now, they're off. Forward, forward. Okay. <laughs> You've got another. Yeah, I've got short arms. Go. <laughs> so today we are off to Bordeaux and we are going shopping. We're going on the, um, on the toll roads, just taking the ticket out of the toll. Reminded myself that I have lovely short arms. <laughs> this is one of the bridges as you come into Bordeaux. The driver looks happy. So it's stop one on the shopping tour, a little taste of the UK today. Primani! So Primark was very successful, well for me anyway. That's Nick's bag. And we've just stopped at Starbucks. 
because where we are or where we live in France you don't get Starbucks apart from if you come to Bordeaux so this is a massive massive treat and it's the first time that we've ever been able to sit at a table in a Starbucks it's a good day Thank you, Primani, for a lovely morning. Are you feeling okay? Why? Well, we're heading towards Ikea. No, we're not. <laughs> isn't it? You'd hope so. I managed to we managed to find a space in this really badly lit underground car park in the middle of Bordeaux and Nick was straightening up. Some absolutely banging cars in here though. And they're playing like a a violin music so I don't know whether it's to make like the car park clientele feel posh or just a man with a violin I would have got on it but it shuts Center, and we're going to a Chinese supermarket called Eurasi. Hey, uh, nearing Eurasi. We're here at Eurasi supermarket today in Bordeaux, which is a Chinese Oriental supermarket. Because it's really hard to get Chinese takeaway from at home, so we make it. Um, and this is something that's outside. And don't look anything like the one on the right, or the middle, or the left. Uh -oh. It's great, it's just rows and rows and rows of Chinese stuff. You can also buy MSG. Ooh. We're now leaving the main part of Bordeaux to go to another outskirts shopping area. And the traffic's equally just as bad on the way out. Lovely weather today. So you'll need this straw, okay? So I've fitted sewage pipes bigger than that, <laughs> blimey. So I've got you, in a rosy, I've got you a thing called a bubble tea. I've got a frog spawn at the bottom. Bring it closer so you can see. Now, I've never had a bubble tea. Have you ever had a bubble tea? No. So I've got you a red bubble tea with fruity tapioca balls at the bottom. And apparently they're chewy, but I don't know. I've never had one. 
you're not selling it to me, really, are you? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be really sweet. <laughs> I don't know about, I can't find a ball. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, trying to slurp up a ball. Mm. <laughs> Have you got one? <laughs> well, they're right, actually. Is it it's chewy? Like, no. It's like, like little grapes, but just like little balls of juice. Do they pop in your mouth yeah, for the they tune? Do. Yeah, they do, they're right. See, the word tapioca doesn't say that to me. Tapioca is a school dinner pudding, which which was normally like stodgy goo and horrible. But that's all right. Yeah. Bit sweet on the drink, but... Hey-ho. Hey-ho. But you're enjoying it. I wouldn't say that. <laughs> Would you have it again? Not really through choice, but if there's nothing else, then yeah. <laughs> what, like water or hot <laughs> anything, water? <laughs> anything. Okay, well, now we know. One of my ultimate favourite shops in the UK used to be B&M, and they've recently opened branches of B&M in France. This one is one of the bigger ones in Bordeaux, and it's going to be great. There's loads of cleaning products and epic things. Nick hates it. So I'm leaving him in the car. So on the way home, second time's got to be a charm really, hasn't it? sprouts oh flora loves sprouts is that nice back up on the balcony here um where you've already seen me treat and paint that um it didn't actually come out glossy in the end rather sort of matte finish but um Assuming Mrs. Butcher is happy with that, I will continue painting the others. We've had positive comments about the colour. Um, I mean, yes, it, we all like the decayed look of patina on on metalwork, but um, I, it would be lovely to keep them like that. But I want to, to try to preserve this um, to make it last another. 100 and whatever, 50 years. So, um, I've, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I've wire brushed those seven, sprayed them with the rust preventer, cure, whatever it does, primer. So I'm gonna give those a paint today, um, and then, a bit more done. Here I am with my brilliant blue Britannia again. 
brush has gone a bit hard actually, I could probably do with a new one, but... Okay. Quite enjoying doing this. Um, I think it looks good. Just got to do the other side. And then that's about a quarter of this balcony done. Quite pleased. Right, we've got to go and finish off the other side of the railings, which I'll do from the other side. Go up the ladder that I've got ready there. Finish the bottom, as I say, at the other side, and then that is this patch done. Hello. Well, there we have it, a few more of the railings done. I quite like it. So before I go to work this morning, I've popped into the cinema room in the Maison de Maitre. Uh, and I thought I'd quickly explain why we'd gone to a brick -o shop to look at paint for windows the other day. It wasn't a very successful shopping trip because I don't think we knew at the time what we wanted. I don't think we really still do. Um, in each of the rooms around the windows, there's panelling. Um, and you can probably see that in this room, there's like a colour contrast that's obviously faded over the years between the two panels. Um, my ideal situation would be to paint all of the panelling white and all of the inside window frames white and then have these insert panels here in a contrasting colour to the colours that we're going to choose for each bedroom. Um, originally I had thought of painting the actual windows and the frames in more of like a gloss paint because obviously if people are coming into bedrooms and it's summer they're going to open windows and then there's going to be handprints but as Nick's pointed out this morning you're not really going to touch the window you're going to more touch the handle so it's back off to Bricot at some point to get some tester pots I think. Claire's just finished a Sunday roast shift at uh, the bar and God, have you seen two little doggies so excited to see their their little present when she's got home? That's bigger than her. <laughs> it's too heavy for her. <laughs> Off she goes. None, none for husband. No lamb, no roast lamb for husband. Wrong for you. Well, you can't come in. So today we are trying a 2019 Cote de Rhone blend um, called Maitre de Chaise. Maitre de Chaise. Maitre de Chaise. Um, which is a light meal, uh, a light wine, uh, supposedly, should be a good accompany, accompaniment for charcuterie and grilled meats and things like that. So, uh, we'll open it and uh, give you our opinion. I've just got home from work. Uh, I've had a lovely Sunday serving lamb this week on the menu. Um, 
and you've taken a little video of me when I got home giving Flora and Merlo a lamb bone, which they're both outside enjoying presently or currently. Here we go. So I know that this week's episode in some ways hasn't been the most exciting. Um, until I'm, this point. Until this point. <laughs> I've been at work for most of the week covering for somebody who's been ill, so I've been doing extra shifts in the kitchen. Uh, and you've been here working most I of have. The um, obviously my parents left on Monday and ever since then I've been getting back to, to speed doing work around the house here. Um, it's actually nice for, for once to be able to sit um, in here. It's a little chilly because we don't have heating. I haven't lit the fire for this, so if you can see our breath, <laughs> it's because we're dragons. <laughs> oh, well you're becoming a bearded dragon, aren't you? <laughs> anyway, cheers. Cheers. Let's, um, Did you need that, darling? I did. I think she had a stressful day at work today. No, it was actually really good. But I think when I've got a hint of over dishwasher tablet, I need another <laughs> one. <laughs> but it's actually not too bad. It's no, it, bad. it's alright. Um, yeah. I think it would be better with food than <laughs> just sitting here without. Details. <laughs> Anyway, thanks for watching. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this. If you have, click the like button. And you can keep up to date with us on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. And our website, which is www.theexpatbutchers.com Until next week. Cheers. Cheers.